And while recovery work continues in Guantanamo, around 66,000 people will be evacuated by different means in seven bodies due to imminent rains resulting from, from a throw over the Atlantic Ocean. The Provincial Defense Council oriented the adoption of all measures in the municipalities recently affected by Hurricane Oscar in areas at risk of flooding, protecting human and material resources and defining and preparing evacuation centers in each municipality are among the priorities of the council. President of the Municipal Defense Council of the Tad Territory, Joannis Ortiz, stated that places such as the municipal capital of San Antonio del Sur will be evacuated entirely. The Honduran Minister of Security, Gustavo Sanchez, this November 2nd reported that the country has seen a historic reduction in homicides and violent deaths of women so far this year. This is attributed to the implementation of effective security strategies by the government of President Xiomara Castro. Sanchez highlighted the application of the state of partial exceptional solution plan against crime. He also mentioned that the current government has multiplied its efforts to address the causes of violent death of women. In his opinion, there has also been an 85% effectiveness rate in the investigations of these cases, which has had an impact on the reduction of impunity. In Panama, the Supreme Court of Justice submitted an appeal of unconstitutionality filed by the defense of former President Ricardo Martinelli against the ruling in the new business case. The appeal was filed by Martinelli's lawyer, Nadia Castillo, who argued that the former president was protected under the principle of speciality established in the extradition treaty with the United States when he was sentenced to 10 years and 8 months in prison. For the first time, the Supreme Court admitted this appeal after dozens of previous objections. In this sense, if the court declares the most recent appeal to be admissible, Martinelli would be absolved of the charges against him in new, in new business case. And in Ecuador, the Ministry of Energy and Mines reported that from November 5th to the 10th, electricity cuts will be six hours a day after more than a month of scheduled rationing. Experts point out that the origin of the energy emergency lies in the lack of investment and foresight of the authorities. In this sense, the provinces of Chimborazo, Santa Elena and Esmeraldas, the power cuts will be of four hours thanks to the recent improvement in rural flows that supply the hydroelectric plants in those areas. In addition, rainfall has been recorded in recent days where the two main hydroelectric plants are located. In our news also in Ecuador, the candidate for the Socialist Party to the National Assembly, José Lo Arguello, was the victim of an attack in the province of Santa Elena in the west of the country after denouncing mafias and organized crime groups. According to the authorities, it was an armed attack after which a close friend of the candidate is in serious condition. The violent acts were recorded during a meeting with villagers in the province of Santa Elena. In this regard, Arguello's political group condemned the new act of violence against its candidate and demanded that the authorities guarantee the safety of the politicians and initiate an investigation into the incidents. <laughs> 